Hello, welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue, and today I thought it'd be fun to play with the Glam Light Pizzeria Slice in Veggie Lovers. I do have the Meat Lovers one as well, but I just love the color story in this one. I'm gonna say already, I'm kind of into this triangle mirror. It's like the handiest way to see your face in it when you do your makeup. It's pretty good. So let's get into an eye look, and this is a first impressions. I've got so many palettes to do first impressions with coming up. I don't know. I'm going to have to do like a poll on my Instagram or something soon just so I can figure out what you guys want to see. But today I just chose, I went for, all right, pretty like, what are you excited to play with? What have you been wanting to play with? Though I did get my Holo Taco, like Simply Nail Logo Tools nail polish line. So I've done my nails today and they are pretty. I got her whole collection line. I don't know if like I should do a video about it. I'm not very good at doing my nails, so like it's it's a bit messy. Um, but they are pretty. I really love them, and the black was so easy to use. I think it's really nice. All right, so I did actually do swatches of this. I'm just gonna put it in a picture. So that's how I made a mess because I bought some swatch stickers and I've been playing around. I just I really hate swatching in a video. I'm really bad at doing it. So let's first go into yellow peppers. And I'm going to use this like as our base. Oh, I keep forgetting to bring you in lately. Do you like coming in closer to my face? I don't know. I watch people who do both. I watch a lot of people who are zoomed out and a lot of people who are zoomed in. I just find you can't really always see really what they're doing sometimes, but you usually get a pretty good idea, so it's not a big deal. All right, and then I'm gonna use olives. And this is gonna go, I'm gonna bring it like in and up. If that makes sense. I'm gonna do what I'm doing with it right now. And you can just see that Mac paint for it. I didn't blend that in that well though. Oh, and I just took all of that stuff off. All right. I'm just gonna leave it. I can tell you today it's nice just doing one eyeshadow palette on my eyes because then I can keep going in and fixing it. So just changing up the palette. So I do enjoy doing those videos. They are fun to film. I'm going to Basil. So I've actually used some of my products up for like the first time ever. I didn't, I don't know, I like it. I don't think I've ever actually used too many of my products up, but I have gone through a complete benefit precisely my brow. I was so shocked when I'd gone through it because I was pulling it out to use it and was like, what? This isn't winding anymore. And ended up finding out I'd finished it. I've also gone through my complete uh, Hourglass Vanish foundation stick. I mean, there's still some in the stick, but I don't really like the formula. But I just can't bring myself to throw them out. Look, it's right here. But see, I can't get any more up. So I don't know. I, I like this foundation for its quickness, but it, it gets it gets too oily on me. So I've been wanting to play with the black. I was thinking about the brown, but black olives. I just stamp it in. And blend it in. Whoa, that is pretty pigmented. All right, so back to basil and the black. And I'm just going to blend these in. I'm going to blend the black out with basil because I don't want the black to go too far. This side, I don't know, I went a bit crazy. So let's just try and tone it back down. And then I'm feeling jalapenos. This is probably one of those videos where my accent is going to be super obvious. I mean, I guess it's always obvious, isn't it? Uh, but you know when you see, watch someone pronouncing words that you pronounce all the time? And I sure I'm, I'm sure I pronounce things wrong all the time too, because pronunciation is just not something I do very well. What did I want to put on my eye eye? Yeah, I'm going to put a green pepper, which is this one. And I don't usually spray my brush with MAC Fix Plus or wet it when I'm putting shimmers on just 
I don't know. I sort of always forget. But I tend to try and put it down without the fix pass, and then if I need the fix pass, I go in and put it on. But these shimmers are pretty much wow. So I did buy this palette because Annette's makeup corner, or Annette, my dear friend, loves glam light. She has videos on all of them, except she didn't get the pizza slices. Whoa, that's a nice shimmer. I think I'm gonna try. And I want to put, I'm going to put spinach just underneath my eye, which is another shimmer. Well, I think I'm happy with it. Let me just put liner and mascara on and I shall be returned. All right, so I've got Urban Decay's Freak on the Waterline in Maybelline the Falsies mascara on. So I'm bringing in a little bit closer so we can admire my handiwork. I'm just admire the eyeshadows really. Is my handiwork that good? No, probably not. Alright, so as far as like a first impression goes, I'm quite impressed. I bought these because Annette's Makeup Corner keeps buying the Glam Light palettes and I was like, hells yeah. I don't think she's got the pizza slices, but I know she's busy at the moment. And yeah, I'm excited. The pizza slice appealed to me because it's much smaller than the burger palette and It came in the cutest box. My boyfriend was like, you ordered pizza? You got pizza? He was like, what is going on? I was like, it's makeup. But it came in like an actual like pizza pizza box. In the correct size. It was just very cool. So I pre-ordered these when it was first released. And it took 10 business days or at least two weeks from like postage to arrival. I live in a metro Brisbane area. So in Australia, if you're a bit more regional, it can take longer. But shipping wise, I mean, that's pretty standard for me. But yeah, I like it. I'm interested to play with it a bit more and have a go with it. I've got the Meat Lovers one. I'm keen to play with that one. It's a lot more reddish toned and I feel like I have a lot of reddish toned palettes I need to play with coming up. But let me know if you've bought the Gun Lab Pizza palette, if you're interested in it. What do you think? And look, I've already labeled it. I ran out of my neon labels. I'm pretty sad about that. Anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of today's look. If you like a more green, smoky look. I don't know if the... Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it and adore you. If you're new here, I'd love it if you consider subscribing. Um, let, me, let me know how you're going. Comment down below.